Hello, hello, hello. This is HJT500 slash Challenger Track 98 slash Heloise Wonderwise slash Hilo. And um, in this video, we have quite a bit to talk about when it comes to uh, the recent update that came out this morning. Um, when it comes to like primals, exaltos, the overskills, um, stuff like that, there's a lot to talk about. So, uh, yeah, let's just kind of get into it. Um, before I do that, though, I do want to kind of talk about some of the the whaling endeavors that I've gone through because there's a lot of stuff to buy this month. Uh, so let's let's go look at my account right now. Um, so far, I bought the anti ticks. I will work on that video after I'm finished with this one. Um, uh, so that's been bought. I bought that one. Well, I bought both the packs that had one one that had a Damascus ingot, one that had a sunstone. I bought that already. Um, <laughs> I bought three of the passes already, um, for this. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to use this on yet. Um, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to need this globe or not, or if I'm just going to go for this other stuff. Um, but yeah, I bought the pass. This is kind of nice for, um, I mean, I kind of like this because I be running out of berries when I farm for bricks, but I also like the double hosts on brick raids, even though it does kind of suck right now because everybody's hosting their stuff. So no one's really joining your stuff, but at the same time, that's also like two extra chances at gold bars per day. Um, so yeah, it's kind of give or take there. I think it'll be better as people kind of filter out like seasonals and then there's more people that are just trying to, you know, actually kill the raids um, as opposed to just hosting all the time. Um, I think especially for stuff like Proto Baja where it's like, it's like constant 18 out of 18 or something. Like I feel like it may be better once people kind of filter out, but we'll see. Um, classic draw, I already went through this. I actually didn't even think to like record this spark but i went through this i'm sitting on my selectable item though um because you have an entire year for this um so i'm waiting to see which primal i'm going to need um to spark off of this also something to note while i'm thinking about classic draw in the actual like draw section so um, pretty much what I do at this point is unless it's a gala, so flash or leg, I use like all my free draws on classic draw, but note we have gotten classic draw two now, but classic draw two does not appear to have the, uh, the optimus summons in here, like in the back here. Yeah. There's like no optimus summons. Um, so honestly, if you're going to throw rolls at this, um, be sure that you're throwing it at classic draw one because I think the Optimus summons are like the main thing you're going to want off of classic draw nowadays. Um, so yeah, if you're throwing draws, throw them at classic draw one, not classic draw two. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's, let's see. Um, I think that's it for whaling endeavors. Uh, oh, I bought both the skins. <laughs> I bought both of those two. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's it for whaling endeavors. So let's bring up the notepad and, um, so let's, let's start getting into the stuff that matters more, <laughs> right? So firstly, primals, um, let's go look at the primals that I have finished, um, uh, or that I have available to me, right? So right now I've gotten 250 Titan, 250 Agni. Um, I have access to 250 um, Zeus and technically Hades as well. Um, what my plan is, um, is, so the way this works is you can actually stone extra summons and then reduce them to get animas, right? So you can do that up to four anima. So if you three stone a summon, like if I three stone the Zeus for these three stars right here, you would get an anima if you reduced it. So what my plan is, I actually still have, I never used my original free globe that I got, um, that well, that everyone got at the start when they, you know, screwed up all this primal stuff. So that one globe is going to go towards this because you can use a globe or you can use an anima. All the uncapped steps for these are just purely anima or a globe, right? So what my plan is, since, um, as you guys know, I've been planning to go dark primal. Um, what my plan is, is I'm going to use three stones and globes to do Zeus and, uh, and Hades, right? So what I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stone like this Zeus, and then I'm going to reduce this Zeus, this, this, all these Zeus's right here. And then that will be four Zeus's. And then I will use the globe that I still have for the last Zeus. 
And then for Hades, what I'm going to do is on that classic draw spark, unless I get Hades, or if I get Zeus, I'm, I'm waiting for the end of anniversary, by the way, for these two. That's the reason why they're not done yet, because I may get a Zeus or a Hades from the draws. Um, but this is assuming I just get nothing else. I'm going to use that classic draw spark on Hades, and then use that extra Hades, and I'm going to three stone, three stone that Hades. Um, I'm going to three stone that Hades, and then um use one globe from one globe from my gold moons one globe from my uh one globe from my gold moons and then one globe from potentially that um pass that's my plan um yeah yeah that's my plan <laughs> yeah that's my plan so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So I guess it's I guess it's actually four stones, not three. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had it in my head that I could do three though, but I can't remember how I was gonna do it. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. But it, it's three or four stones. That's my plan. So it, essentially, what I'm saying is my plan is to use stones on these as opposed to using purely globes, right? Um. So yeah. Um. Let me think. Uh, that's kind of it. Uh, for okay, so <laughs> for Zeph and Varuna, I have let let Zeph and Varuna leak. Uh, this is a meme from some of my friends that play Ark Knights, where uh, I guess like the units can leak through the defenses in that game. So <laughs> sometimes we just say like, you know, you just gotta let it leak, dude. So I'm just I'm just letting these these two leak. Um, I actually did in my classic Spark, I did get another Zeph, so I am closer to Zeph now than I was before. Um, and I guess I could stone these Zephs, but I'm not interested in going prime on these ellies right now so they're probably just going to stay until either i sub ticks more or i just get extra or i classic draw them uh, classic draw spark them something like that um yeah until i start to care about these i don't care about upgrading them to be honest um so let's see um what else do i have here so yeah i i have i don't think it's worth 150 gold moons because essentially if you don't if you don't get them, if you don't have a dupe, if you don't have a dupe and you don't have a dupe to stone, um, the only way to get anima, well, not anima, the only way to upgrade your summon would be to get five globes, which is 150 gold moons because they're 30 each. And I don't think that's worth it unless you have all the relevant illustrious weapons. Um, and by all the relevant, I mean like every single one of them, <laughs> because <laughs> I think they're probably all worth as opposed to getting one of these summons maxed or just, you know, classic draw sparking a dupe and then stoning it. I just don't think it's worth 150 gold moons. I really don't. Um, I do have a listing. I took some notes when I was going through Titan and Agni last night for the upgrades. Um, at 210, you get the sub aura. Um, at 220, you get the call upgrade. At 230, you get um, 160 aura, uh, main aura. And then two. Uh, 240 you get the 30% boost and I also have a note down here the 30% boost only appears to um, work if it's actually your main summon not your friends so you have to you have to get your own um, you have to get your own if you want that that 30% boost um, and you have to be using your own um, and then it might be worth to only push to 240 unless you want to collect them all slash main Ellie because the only thing at 250 a is um, 170, but from the math that I have when it comes to Exaltos and such, you only really need 160 to use two Exaltos. So you don't need, um, or and you only need two to, you only need 230 to hit 160, and then you can use two Exaltos to still hit 280% for your, um, like Valky requirement or like Revens and stuff like that. So 240 may be the main thing you want to aim for unless it's like your main Ellie or you, like I said, you're trying to collect them all. Um, and then at 250, you get 170% um, for the main. So yeah, that's it for the primals um, themselves. And that's like my progress with them. Um, so um, let's let's see what's the next thing. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be uh, the overskills. Okay, so for the overskills, um, they seem okay. <laughs> they seem okay. Um, 
what I, I have a note here that I think it's similar to voltage in the sense that you don't necessarily build for it if it's going to break your grid, but it's good if you can get it. Um, so what do I mean by that? So let's let's go through each of them. So I know when they showed it off, there was only a preview of damage cap, multi attack and crit. Um, I assumed that there was going to be more like for example, if you overcap on HP, you would get a bonus, but that's not in the game yet. It's only those three that are in the game right now. Um, so let's just go through each of them. So damage cap is similar to Revan's, right? Where, so let me, let me show you a grid. Um, so let me, let me show you like my earth grid for Fa, right? So my earth grid for Fa, and this is actually an experimental grid, so I can show you. Um, so like right here this this is seven percent this is seven percent that's fourteen percent this is five percent which is nine percent this is this is an extra five percent right here which is putting me four percent damage cap over right so if i go in here to to this you'll see this new damage cap pin and i get this this extra six percent right i get this extra six percent here um and if i put like if i put like i know some people were thinking if I used um, my special dagger, because this gives another 5% damage cap, right? So this would boost this would boost me up even more when it comes to that damage cap pin. But the thing about this, the thing about this is it's still the exact same issue that we ran into before when Revan's first came out with the MK2, um, right? And like we got these special awakenings and stuff where we are still not strong enough to always capitalize on all this overcap. So if you make your entire grid focused on capping and then overcapping, you're not going to be able to hit into that cap because you're not going to have damage to back it up. So it, it, it just doesn't it doesn't work like that. Um, so building for only overcap is not really the play in my opinion. Um, let's see let's let's also go to the the extra hit thing so the the extra hit is actually like kind of even worse because the extra hit it only shows up when you max out your your it, it combines with double attack and triple attack so both of these play into it at the same time um but the thing about it is that kind of breaks your grid too because like for example the thing that i was playing around with was this this dagger right so I, I had a i had a grid setup that was like this where i was using instead of double world ender i was using one world ender and then the alex dagger to try and get the the double attack so that the double attack would push me over because if i use if i use the two the two world enders i do not get enough double attack or triple attack to get me over capped so i i lose that that bonus damage so what i was playing around with was just taking out one world ender to put in one dagger just to push me over to get that that stat right but the issue with this is that's not really optimal because you only get this this added hit by the way is like 20 to 30 percent i saw 30 percent this morning i haven't checked too much today to see what like concrete stuff is but i think it's 20 to 30 percent and that bonus hit can also get an echo on it um but the issue is just the fact that it is extremely hard to even get to this added hit and then once you get this added hit the 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 percent that you're gonna hit this added hit is so low that you would have to stack a ridiculous amount of multi-attack in order to get this to actual high levels and then in that case in my opinion it's, it's kind of the same way as the damage cap where it's like you're gonna have so much multi-attack in your grid that you're not gonna have damage for this to even really do as much as if you had just built a grid normally right and this one is actually kind of even worse because if you notice usually in these type of videos i show you extra grids second but i'm showing you extra grids now because if we go to a normal grid you know earth is a perfect example because i've talked about in the past how earth is so concrete and what it can even use in a normal grid there's not even space to get you know maxed out multi-attack right here so you can't even get that hit in the first place same thing with damage cap where it's like i can't even really fit anything else in this you know what I'm saying? To hit 
to hit more damage cap or more multi-attack to get that extra hit. And even if I did, I would be gimping my grid so hard that it just doesn't make sense to even do that. So, yeah, it, it just, I don't know. Like, I, I think they're fine in how they are. Pretty much what they are is they're just, they're just an extra bonus because you had situations like, you know, you had situations like, like this, where it's like, you have, you have extra cap up. You have extra cap up that goes just slightly over the cap, and now you're just getting benefits for that, which is fine, in my opinion. Um, I don't think it really needs to be anything super big, right? Now, the last one, the last one is crit, and crit can be good, but I feel like the only Ellie that can actively use this at the moment is light. Um, the reason why the only Ellie that can actively use this right now is light is because light has Exalto A, and its Exalto is also built around crit, right? And another big weapon that you use in light is Noah Dagger, which also gives a ton of crit. So a grid like this with two Noah Daggers and three EFS um, can get you, you know, you'll get to 100% crit, and then you'll actually get the crit damage here, which even this isn't like ridiculously high when it comes to crit damage. Um, but this is extra damage and you're kind of just getting this for free because you're pretty much, if you take out, if you take out this dagger, you don't hit a hundred percent crit, right? You don't hit a hundred percent crit, at least in the grid with this, right? So you already need to use another dagger if you want to hit a hundred percent crit in your grid. So you're just getting extra benefits because you have to do that, right? So this is just giving you that extra pickup for crit damage which i think again like i said it's nice but again light is like the only ellie that's really going to take advantage of this because no other ellie is really running crit like that um where it's like maxed out and then over capping on crit right so like i said overskill in my opinion is it's nice but it's not something that i think you really necessarily build for because i think it gimps your grid too hard it's just if you happen to to run into it and you go over it then you're now going to get bonuses because of that which i think is is nice because there was a lot of stuff that was just barely getting you over cap or was going way over cap and then it was just like wow i just get nothing for that so it's it, that's nice in my opinion so um yeah and like i said very hard to reach in normal grids um no, almost impossible. <laughs> um, the only th the only one again I think is like a light. Like I have um, I have like like this setup for like when I do proto Baja that uses two Noah daggers, right? And this can get the the crit damage. But besides that, like again, I'm not getting the multi attack rate. And this is even with the Opus that has 30%. This is only 30% only from the Opus, by the way. <laughs> so it's like you're not getting this to 75% or over 75% in a normal grid. Um, yeah. It's just like, they're good, but only if you can get them, in my opinion. Okay, so now for the big one. The big one, two versus three Exalto. Is three Exalto dead? Um, I don't think so, personally, but I'm going to pull a, a Monkey D. Luffy on uh, Fishman Island. You decide for yourself with this information, right? So I'm going to give you some information, and you decide whether you think two versus three is, is you know, which one's worth it. So... First of all, I'm not looking at double primal because it was already possible to benefit off two Exalta with double primal before the uncap. So what I mean by that is before the before, you know, uh, the uncaps, you could just use double primal and you would get to 300 percent regardless. So you would already already be hitting like your your um you would already be hitting your Revan and your Faki and stuff like that. You would already be hitting 280% because that would have been 300%, right? So I'm not worried about double primal. Double primal, in my opinion, does not matter for this this conversation. Um, I'm looking at single-sided. So firstly, let's look at single-sided primal with, with um, two Exaltos. So single-sided primal, and this is with a max primal now. So it's 170 plus 60 from the two Exaltos, 30 each, plus 40 from your Dragon, plus 20 from your Primarch. This equals 290. So now you can hit, you can hit your Revan and Faw Key requirements with just two Exalto if you go single-sided 
primal, right? If you have a max primal, or if you're using a primal, a max primal sub or not sub summon, uh, friend summon. Um, it's just remember again with the friend summon, you don't get the 30% boost to attack, but you still do get the 170, right? So you can you can use two exalto to hit your keys, right? But let's look at single sided with three exalto. You have 170 from the primal, 90 from the three exaltos, 40 from the dragon, 20 from the primarch. This puts you at 320%. This puts you in a position where you can still you can drop your dragon summon and still hit 280%. And if you drop the primarch, you can hit 300%, which means whether or not you drop the dragon or you drop the primarch, you can you can choose to now drop one of them um, and still hit your key if you have three exaltos. Right now, you may be saying, when does this even come up? Right now, there are some situations I will tell you there are some situations where you do not use your dragon summon. They're very few and far between. I would say the dragon is more important than the primarch, but there are times where you will choose not to use your your uh, dragon summon because there are other higher priority things. I actually don't remember. I don't remember if I have a setup for it. I don't. I don't remember. This is my. Yeah, it's not even in this setup. But I, I do remember that there are times where you may not want to use your dragon, right? You may want to use other summons in the dragon slot. But assuming the dragons, the, the bigger one that I want to focus on personally right now is the Primarchs, right? The Primarchs are important for when it comes to being able to drop them. <laughs> and what I mean by that is as someone who has played Earth for a very long time now, and someone who has played Earth for an extended amount of time without before Galleon Grids came out, I will tell you that having came constantly at all times, always having to have came in your backline can be a restriction because there are certain setups where you are not going to want came in your backline. The same applies for Primarchs. A perfect example, I can already show you this right now, is Earth and Faw. Earth and Fall right now, the two optimal setups for Earth and Fall are either this, where it's it's MC, uh, Chaos Ruler, Shalim, Olivia, and then Kame, or you do MC, um, Arlumaya, Olivia, and Kame. Those are like the two big comps when it comes to Earth and Fall, right? Both of those comps use Chaos Ruler and Olivia, which are skill damage gods. You use Hunting and you, you nuke every turn twice with Chaos Ruler, and then Olivia and Kame go crazy with Olivia's boosted nukes, right, from, from her buff. So in this comp, it is optimal to use Lobelia instead of, instead of Uriel backline because Lobelia's FLB gives you the these boosts to to skill damage cap and supplement skill damage right so you get a ton of damage from this as opposed to using uriel's backline passive and the reason why i say earth is a perfect example is because earth doesn't even have it have the exalto yet <laughs> earth doesn't even have the exalto yet and it's already kicking out uriel <laughs> uh trash character by the way um anyway <laughs> anyway anyway um so yeah Earth has already kicked out Uriel for this harder content. Now, I will say Uriel can be useful if you're not using a comp like this, you know, that has Olivia or stuff like that. But that should tell you already there are times where you do not want to use the Primark backline. Another one I can show you is my fire setup. My fire setup also does not use Michael. It, it has Alanon and Frog comes in for Neon once Neon dies. But Alanon is the better backline instead of instead of Michael. At least arguably, you know, you can use Alanon and he can be probably more useful when he comes in if someone were to die as opposed to Michael. So my fire also does not use Michael. So in situations like this, I'll show you my fire. If I don't have Michael in here, I can't hit, you know, I can't hit the two, the 280% because if I take out Michael, I will go down to 270%, right? If I have everything else. And I only use two exaltos. So in situations like that, it may not be worth. Um, the, the same thing goes for, for light, right? Light, now Sandolphin is kind of an exemption because light 
Um, or light light sand dolphin is just built to counter fall zero, <laughs> honestly, right? But there are the, some fights where you may not want to bring sand dolphin, right? Even in just normal stuff. A good example is, um, you know, a light setup like like this. Like this is again my proto Bahamut full auto, right? In this comp, I have Makara backline because she works with Street King, and then. The further the furthest back line is Geisenborger because Geisenborger I want him back here so that I can tank the uh, the Skyfall so it makes it so the damage uh, dark damage is only capped at 10k so in this group there's again no space for Sand Dolphin so if I was running only two Exaltos I would not be able to hit my key because I am forced to always have Sand Dolphin and that's what I mean when I said before with the Kane thing. That is a restriction. Having to always have that character in your party to be able to fully utilize everything is a restriction. But you do not have to worry about that if you run three Exalto. You see what I'm saying? So that's why in a way, three Exalto is still very important. Because if you do not want to use your Dragon Summon or your Primarch, you do not, you know... You can't do that unless you have three Exalto um, to hit your all your key. Obviously, you could use a different key or whatever, right? But just if you want to use a setup like this, you have to do that. The same kind of goes for water. Honestly, like think think about water when it comes to to Fall Zero. Do you really see people using Gabriel Frontline? I haven't personally. Maybe maybe people have, but I haven't seen people using Gabriel Frontline. I would say people are using Gabriel Frontline or Gabriel Backline because there's nothing else better to put in your backline. You know, they don't have like a Lobelia or like a, a Geisenberger that's doing anything big. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that. That's the type of thing that I think about. And you guys know how I am from like my primal video, where I'm not. If I'm going to be primal in something, I'm not. I'm going to be able to do everything, right? So in my opinion, this is this is still a pretty good case for three Exalto, in my opinion. Um, another thing to note about with three Exalto is let's let's go look at we'll go look at our fire grid first, right? So right here I have three Exalto, right? And you'll see that my bonus fire damage is capped at at 50%, right? It, it's capped at 50%. And this is with this is with uh, Lucifer for the other side, and then my Agni is is main, right? If I take out an Exalto, if I take out an Exalto, this goes down to now 33%, right? So this is this is where I have uh, right here. So with no Michael, like my fire doesn't have right now, I lose 17% bonus fire damage here because I don't have a third Exalto. Because I think a lot of people got so focused on the Exalto just activating these type of keys that they forgot that Exaltos have a cheeking third skill. <laughs> They still have a third skill. Remember that. They also have these second skills as well. But they have this third skill. And this third skill still kind of matters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's still an extra 17%. If you had Michael, I saw that it was 15%. But you're still losing bonus fire damage because you don't have a third Exalto. That doesn't just go up like crazy just because th you have a 170 uh, summon now. You know what I'm saying? Even even if I swap this Lucifer, even if I swap this Lucifer to Agni, right? Again, this kind of doesn't matter because, like I said, I'm only looking at single-sided. But even here, you're still losing all, out on like two percent for your bonus fire damage, right? But again, I'm not to focused too much on that because I'm I'm trying to focus mostly on the case for single-sided because double-sided doesn't really matter as much for this conversation. But yeah, so like that's that's what I mean when I say. I think there's still a very good case for three Exalto, um, which is what I said before, <laughs> where I, I said there was no way they were just going to make this completely irrelevant because they want money. They want you to spend on three of these. It, it just doesn't make sense to just go down to two. Um, so I still think in some scenarios, it's still going to be unoptimal to use two. Um, pretty much, pretty much, in my opinion, I think if you're using single sided, it's probably unoptimal to use uh, two 
as opposed to three. But if you're going double sided, like if you're going, yeah, if you're going double sided, that's when I think you can start using two. But again, that doesn't even really matter in conjunction with the upgraded primals because you already could have done that. <laughs> so it's, it's just like, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, and then here I just have notes where, you know, the echo caps at 50%. Um, with Michael in the party, this would go down to 35%. If you had two, um, two of your uh, Exaltos, and it's 33% if you have no Michael, right? Uh, and this is also with, with Wilna's backline as well. Um, and then the same thing for Wind. Wind I do not have, but I asked a, a fellow, a, a past crewmate about this because they have two Kagu daggers. I don't have two Kagu daggers, um, but you lose 8% 8, 8 of your normal attack damage cap, which by the way, this is kind of big because if you think about it, triple zero is 10% uh, damage amplification, right? So th this is pretty close to that, <laughs> that you're losing. Uh, but the cap for Kage Daggers is 30% uh, 30 and it hits 22% if you have um, two uh, Kage Daggers. And Win doesn't have Raphael, uh, the character, yet. So I can't, you know, no one can test with that yet. Um and then light, we'll go over to light real quick. Um, light over here. Light, if I if I have this right here, light is kind of even bigger than fire because light, not only are you losing your crit amp, but because this weapon plays into your critical rate, you'll see this has two Noah daggers. If I take out, if I take out one of these, I now go below 100%. Um, or I, I'm sorry, my crit damage now goes down as well because I'm less overcapped for crit rate, right? So not only am I losing, let's let's see what my notes have here. Not only am I losing 6% crit amp, but I'm also losing 11% overskill crit damage with Sandolphin and 7% crit, crit amp and 11% overskill crit damage with no Sandolphin. You know, if I drop, if I drop one E, E, EFS, however you say it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so yeah, so you're losing not only the crit amp, but you're also losing the overcap crit damage when it comes to light now. Um, so yeah, that's another thing when it comes to um, losing your three exaltos as opposed to two. So again, you know, I've given you this information. I have not been able to fully test all this stuff. It hasn't even been been 24 hours i have tested some of the earth i did some of the earth stuff last night in fall zero and that was um I'll, I'll go back to this um my earth this was this type of setup and then using like a a special dagger here was both of these were lower than just using this than just using this this was still just better for me this just did more damage um as opposed to trying to build into the over caps and over skills and all that stuff um, that's the only one I've tested though, but the other ones, I, I think it's still kind of the same thing. I think you still want three Exalto if you're going to go single sided, um, in my opinion. So yeah, just to wrap it up, um, just, uh, just some notes, notes down here to get the full benefit of your Exalto single sided. Like what I mean is, um, you know, when we look at, when we look at a grid like this, you do not get the full benefits of this if you are single sided with only two of these because you just lack you just lack this mod anywhere else you know what i'm saying so if you're single sided you're losing out on the full benefit of your exalto right you don't always want your primark slash you don't always want your dragon Mo more so the primark than the dragon in my opinion but like i said before there are times like this where you don't want to use michael in this party uh, earth like i said you already don't want to use uriel in, in this party, I don't want to use Ariel. Um, you know, light Sandolphin is good for Fall Zero, but you may want to use something different for, let's say, Hexa, you know, for Hexa or Super Ultimate Bahamut, or like I said before with my Proto Bahamut, um, for like your full auto, you may not want to use Sandolphin. So if you only have two Exalto, you are still gimped into using, you, you essentially have to go double sided at that point. You either have to use your Primark or you have to go double sided if you want to hit, you know, like your keys like like this one. Right. 
because it, you will hit 270 instead of 280. So you still need triple exalto for that. Um, overcap on the third skill. Oh, okay. So th this this is for this is less so for like fire, but this is more so for stuff like you know again like like light where light has it actually has overcap on the crit so you're getting this crit damage but if i take out if i take out this exalto you saw that that crit damage a second ago was 12 percent now it's two percent so i just lost 10 percent of my overcap crit damage because i took out that exalto so if your third skill can give you over overcap which they may put out future overcaps i'm i pretty sure they will i doubt these will be the only three we have for the rest of the game's lifespan um but yeah if your exalto has overcap stuff you may not be able to hit as hard into that if you don't have three exaltos um and so yeah it just at the bottom lacking three exalto sets you up for limitations you're still going to be limited in what you can do as opposed to someone who has three exaltos and again going back to my primal video like i said before for me personally if i'm primal on an ellie i want to be able to do everything does this all matter we'll have to we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see how much it matters um there may be weapons that come along that just become way better than whatever you could be getting you know for example if we go to, oh, oh my god <laughs> if, if we go to uh if we go to fire again right um if we go to fire again here there may be something uh, a weapon that comes out that's better than this this like uh what, what was it 15 or 17 percent echo that you're getting that you can just throw in here there may be a better weapon to throw in there in the future i don't know you know what i'm saying but right now that's how i see it you know what i'm saying and i would say for a bit that's probably how it's going to be because we still have three exaltos to get through in terms of ellie for dark water and earth so until those ellies get finished i wouldn't really expect to see new weapons that are like substantial in grid changes for the other Ellie's that already have Exaltos. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to to this one. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Again, like I said, I've given you the information here and the, the numbers and the calculations. So it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to run with two exaltos but me personally i'm still going to be aiming for three when it comes to ellie's that i actually care about right um so yeah that that's me personally but again do with this as you will um but yeah i think that's it so um as always thanks for watching thanks for the support um i'm gonna go work on the anti video after this and i'll probably have that up in the next day or two um so look forward to that um but yeah i think that's it so I will see you in the next one and bye bye. Okay, so slight addendum here. Um, another thing for the summons, I realized that I didn't even really talk about like the calls and stuff. Um, the calls seem decent on them, especially Titan. My dude got shaking supplemental damage. That's kind of tight. Um, but the the other thing that's a case for like three exaltos, right? Especially when it comes to single sided stuff, is even though Titan's call is is good, right? I'm mostly just going to talk about Earth for this. Even though Titan's call is really good, dude, I miss my kicking bubs, dude. <laughs> I miss. I'm. Where, where the heck are these? I miss my kicking bubs, dude. I miss my bubs so much, man. Like, using hunting, hunting main with bubs is so good, man. It's it's so good. Especially for comps where it's like you don't want to ogi or you don't like like uh, like one of the things that I did recently Was I I, I soloed like I, I don't really do this normally, but I soloed super ultimate Bahamut again because um, You need to do it now for the the trophy, right? And when I was doing that I still have my 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 earth key, right? I still have I still have my earth my earth fall zero key um, This one right But I can't use bubs main for this anymore because I don't have Exalto and Earth, right? So I had to run double Titan for that clear, and I had to Ogi, you know, 
multiple times, which obviously it's only three ogies, but it's still like, I had to ogie three times just to get my bubs going. When I could have just been mashing with freaking bubs, dude. I could have just been mashing. Um, it's the same thing with, with Lucifer. I think another big one is Lucifer. Um, you know, for harder content, for harder full autos, a lot of times you want to use Lucifer, either main summon or, I guess now it's it's mostly going to be sub summon. Or not sub summon, I keep saying sub summon. It's going to be friend summon instead, right? You want, what, what I'm trying to say is a lot of times, even with the primal uncaps now, even with their new calls and stuff, I feel like the amount of times that you want to you want to go double sided is still few and far between. I still think a lot of times for harder content or just for faster full autos, you're gonna wanna go single sided. You're gonna wanna go single sided. You're either gonna wanna main bubs or triple zero or you're gonna wanna friend support like Bahamut or Lucifer. You know what I'm saying? But like you can't you can't you know, like I said, if you if you do that, like I said before, if you do that, you're gonna be forced into using your Primark and your Dragon if you use two Exalto. But if you have only one Exalto, you're not forced into that. You can you can do that. So that's why I'm just like me personally. I still think I'm gonna go with three Exaltos. I still think three Exaltos is worth it until I see differently. Um, but. You know, again, I'm I'm a you know straw hat Luffy right here. Uh, you know, you decide for yourself. But that's that's just how I'm personally gonna go. I'm still gonna go for three exaltos, um, because I think two exaltos can get limiting very fast. Um, and I'm already limited right now. Obviously, Earth have exalto, but I'm already limited right now with double titan. And I like I said, double titan is still good, but I can feel the limitations. I can feel the limitations of not being able to use my bubs. Um, or not being able to use, I mean, Lucifer kind of matters less, but yeah, no, because even, even I'll show you, I actually, I actually picked up a, um, a, uh, fall full auto from Mr. On, on Naru, C Naru, something like that on YouTube. Uh, I'll link, I'll link this video in the description because I'm not going to make this, but, um, I actually picked up his, his fall full auto yesterday. Right. And this uses bubs and guess what i have to use my magna opus for this <laughs> because i can't use double titan because it uses bubs and this 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 comp doesn't work around ogie it doesn't ogie you know what i'm saying so it's just like i don't know i me personally i'm still going for three exalto i'm just i'm that's just all i'm gonna say i'm i'm still going for three exalto personally but you can do as you please um i know a lot of people don't want to go for three exalto but me personally obviously i'm a whale you all know i'm a freaking whale speaking of which another thing i didn't mention uh you know my cheeking whaling endeavors at the start i finally 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 oh, wait what is this why is this on eternals uh uh acquired I finally <laughs> got Valentine's Vera <laughs> yesterday, or I guess this morning off the scam. And I also got my baby Uni. I got I got Christmas baby Uni. So yeah, uh, that's that's wailing endeavor. But anyway, what was I saying again? <laughs> I don't even remember. But yeah, I personally I'm going for for uh, three exaltos personally. Um, but you know I I can't control what you do on your account. You know you do what you want. Um, and maybe maybe. You know, as I always say, people are smarter than me. People can find things better than me. But um, that's just how I'm feeling when it comes to Exaltos right now. Is I still think three is is probably most optimal to have, at least have accessible to you. Um, so yeah, that's it for my addendum. Um, and I will see you in the next one, which will be the Antitix video. Um, so yeah, bye bye. Okay, so double addendum time. Um, so I there was there was something else I I thought about while I was. Uh, watching back the video um another another case for you know earth for using this comp here for fall um that's important is lobelia backline also gives buffs to olivia to help her hit this right obviously well maybe not obviously but during the fight you will you will sometimes hit this um depending on what what buffs you get from like came and stuff like that um, but Lobelia gives you permanent buffs to attack defense and then those the skill uh, cap and skill amp that like actually go on her to, to help with with letting her hit those those 12 as well so that's another reason why you use Lobelia in this comp over Uriel um, 
another thing I wanted to point out, I forgot because they're kind of trash. Um, I forgot about these these weapons getting uh, awakenings. I did do the multi attack awakening on Ichigo because um, last night I was trying to figure out I was trying to figure out how double attack and triple attack would work for the overcap, and I was trying to like inch it up because I didn't want to waste too many cages on it. But then I was just like, screw it, I don't feel like doing this math, so I just maxed it out so I could test. Um, and yeah, so like this, this was another comp that I had tried here where I had tried the, the, you know, without the world enders and then I swapped the special dagger so that I could get something like this where I could get like more, you know, added hit percent, percent and more damage cap percent. But I still, I, I'm still in the same boat where I, I think this is still too low. This is still too low as opposed to just doing as opposed to just swapping this to like the normal attack dagger and then swapping swapping both of these weapons to just double world ender like i just i i don't think it's worth it <laughs> i really don't it's just it's too much investment for not enough gain um in my opinion so yeah i i still think this is just better uh, but yeah i i think that's that's it for my double addendum hopefully there's not a, a third because i'm not done reviewing this video yet but I had to do that before I forgot it. So yeah, um, hopefully this is the last time, but uh, uh, thanks for watching again and bye-bye.